back again. Coming to you from Olney, Maryland. We've uh, been here now for almost a day. I was going to get some more footage yesterday, but it got gets dark so quickly and uh, there really aren't any street lights around here, so kind of uh, put a kibosh in my plans there. But uh, we had some fun last night. It's like a little bird or something. So I take a little bit of a walk. Uh, I didn't sleep all that great last night. Uh, they have a, one of those pull-out uh, sofas, and it was a little too hard on my back, so uh, probably sleep better once we get up to uh, New York. It just, you know, it's it would probably be good for most people, but I'm so used to a soft bed that anything, if you've ever been on a pull-out couch, they actually have a couple bars that go across, one towards the upper back, another one towards the lower back, and that's just for support, you know, to help support the actual bed itself. And man, you could feel, I could feel that all night through. It was crazy. Uh, it is pretty cold out here today. Um, I think the temperature said it was about 42 degrees, which, you know what? Doesn't feel too bad for me. I've been waiting for this kind of weather. <laughs> I'm just walking, uh, our friends actually live in a condo development or a townhouse development. Yeah, some people call them condos, some people call them townhouses. It's really interesting too, it's got a basement, which most of the places where I am don't have because of course we have flooding issues. And then the basement has like a little rec room and the laundry room in it. And then the uh, first floor has the kitchen, dining room, and living room. And then the second floor actually has the bedroom, so uh, it's interesting. It's like a split level. I think it said it was built in the mid-80s sometime. I tell you, the sun is out full force today, and with that cold temperatures, the contrast, it absolutely feels great on my skin. Got a couple of kids playing. <laughs> But uh, I don't know what else we're going to get to do today. I know that we want to do some shopping. Um, they actually like it very warm in there. They keep it around 80 degrees, which, of course, is way too warm for me. So I feel I feel better when I'm out here. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to go out and get something to eat later on. And uh, like I said, probably just do some shopping. And as you can probably see in the background, all of the foliage is pretty much gone here. We take a look at this one tree here. There is nothing, there is not one leaf left on this tree anywhere. And if you look in the background, uh, probably can't see it, over to this side, you can see up there, um, there's a couple trees that have a few dead leaves, but hardly anything left. I really thought we were going to make it. I keep forgetting that the uh, foliage, uh, at least up in this area, is pretty much gone by the end of October. Especially since it's been so cold this year. Uh, our friends were telling me that it's been like in the 30s and 40s since the middle of October here. And I, I don't know if I'd like that. That's even a little too cold for me. But like I said, right now it's about 42 degrees. I'm wearing short sleeves. I do have a jacket, but I'm really enjoying the cold weather and I want it to get on my skin. So really not going to bother wearing it, hopefully at all today. But yeah, I mean, just really happy to be up here. It's always good to have fellowship with good friends, you know, and then of course we're leaving uh, sometime tomorrow, either morning or probably late morning, and we're going to head up to uh, New York and uh, visit with family. It's going to be really, really cool, and I know I'm going to get some good footage up there. Uh, hopefully we'll actually see some snow. I don't know if that's going to happen, but uh, keep your fingers crossed, but not on the day we go back. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my little morning uh, walk here and uh, talk to you guys a little bit later. Check this out, guys. I actually found a tree that has some leaves on it. Not exactly sure what this is. It might be a, like a pin oak tree, but you can see that they are dying. If anyone can tell me what that leaf looks like it's from, uh, I'd be much obliged. I'm not a horticulturist or a tree person that much, but uh, well, let's see. It's got some kind of berries on it. Actually, those are acorns, I think. So, yeah, I guess this probably is some kind of oak tree. But like I said, that is really about it for leaves here. It's just amazing how quickly it goes. Got a few left on that tree, but with the wind kicking up today, they'll be gone in no time.
lives in Columbia, Maryland, and this is amazing. I've never seen anything this big before. It's so big, it actually has its own parking garage. The top level is where you can eat. The bottom, I guess, is just where they park the cars, but this is incredible. Gonna try to get some shots as I go in, but I mean, I I've never seen anything this big. I will tell you, I really wish they'd bring Wegmans down to where we are. You can see there, you got the two cross, uh, what do you call those, crossovers to get to the set top floor of the uh, parking garage. That is amazing. Really fancy. We're going to go into the store and do some shopping. I'll see if there's anything else I can uh, photograph while I'm in there. Talk to you guys All in a right little guys, bit. I had to get a shot of this. We're in the Wegmans, and this will bring your cart up for you automatically. Check this out. My cart is actually following me upstairs on the escalator. If I can make. And we made it up here about the same time. <laughs> that is so cool. And that one only goes the one way. I think there's probably another escalator that goes elsewhere, but I've never seen anything like that before. That now is so the cool. Other side and it's actually an elevator. That one just left, so I assume we'll be getting this one. Isn't that weird? The cart. Um, brings it up automatically through the escalator on the going up but going down you have to take the elevator come on out I assume you're going to one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only so choice. Go ahead. Go. He, he can push it. Push it. <laughs> It'll zap you? No. Push it. Push it. Push it. Oh, careful. Push it. Make me watch out on your head. Oh, my goodness. Push it. Push it. Awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Not big enough to put the carts in there too. Awesome. That is cute, the Wegmans train. Wow, well we're leaving this incredible Wegmans. Uh, we're gonna kinda just take it easy the rest of the day, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please remember to like and subscribe, and as always, have a blessed day, everybody.